Ladies and gents, welcome back. It's been two years. The world is winding down from its panic stages of the COVID-19 pandemic. But in Canada, if you talk about getting back to normal, well, <laughs> that's considered a far right talking point. And this is from a <laughs> doctor from Ottawa, who's running for office, by the way. Doctor says it's a far right to desire mandate free life. Agenda host Steve Pakin asked Dr. Kaplan Mirth what to make of people, including politicians, who say it's time to get back to a free life free from COVID-19 restrictions and vaccine mandates. So I have the clip right here. Okay, Ottawa, let's start with you. It's become clear that the message from the provincial government is we're all getting back to normal now, folks. So let's start there. Are we back to normal yet? No. So the language that you use when you say something like uh, normal is a far right um, language of anti-maskers, anti-vaxxers and ableists who uh, disregard the impact of COVID on on seniors, on children, on educators, on essential workers, on healthcare workers, on our healthcare crisis. Uh, there's nothing normal about getting COVID, repeated infections, children and adults being hospitalized and long COVID. There's nothing normal about taking away the protections and the proactive measures that we had to help to reduce transmission of COVID. And there's nothing normal about uh, getting rid of any kind of isolation requirements, which would have helped to curtail outbreaks in schools, in workplaces and everywhere else. I'd like to add, there's nothing normal about a woman in her office all by herself with a mask on. <laughs> this is unbelievable. So this is a physician in Canada, and she's talking about this. Now, let's get more into the article. <laughs> Moving down is a bunch of quotes of her. Uh, Dr. Dr. Kaplan Mirth also said, they're not a hardship for anyone, and yet several studies suggest that harm an individual that masks harm an individual's health for example one study indicated that microplastics and face masks could exacerbate the virus and cause other health problems including well there's the the old uh, problem with having a moist mask on your face and you take it off for a brief moment if any any virus gets on there you could it could multiply on the mask and make make it so much easier to catch at that point and other totally normal behavior from authorities. A doctor from Biden administration said on Tuesday that God gave us two arms for two specific reasons, to receive an annual flu shot and receive an annual COVID shot. Goodness. Not every nine months not or every six months. They're, they're now saying you should get it every three months. Four shots per year. Trudeau needs to get rid of hundreds of millions of doses he bought. Meanwhile, uh, the National Advisory Committee and Immunization recommends COVID-19 boosters every three months. Just weeks, weeks ago, the Department of Health said a booster every nine months is sufficient. <laughs> I understand how, that people can feel overwhelmed, said Dr. Sapriya Sharma, chief medical advisor to the health department. There's a lot of information and the message has changed a little bit from the pandemic, just a little bit. Just a bit, you know, just two weeks to flatten a curve. We've gone all the way from that to this. We're at the beginning, you know, run, don't walk, get your first vaccine, get the first vaccine that's available to you. It was really straightforward in terms of initial messaging, she said. But it goes, it gets a little more complicated, right? Because we're in a different situation. Now, that wasn't the only bit about this doctor <laughs> that was in the news. Uh, we also have the uh, True North. The other article was from uh, the Counter Signal. True North uh, Levy, Canadians should tune out the public health fear mongers. Uh, this being one of them. Unbelievable. <laughs> now, I want to say before I get into this, I used to live in Japan and, and a lot of people know Japan as a country where people wear masks. Now, people don't wear masks because they're afraid of getting sick. They wear masks when they're sick to not get other people sick. The opposite of what's going on here. We almost were in a situation where we could have had a culture of that. And now we're in a situation where if somebody sees someone wearing a mask, they genuinely think that that person's probably a jerk. 
This is how far it's gone because of the rhetoric of people like this individual. Um, Ottawa family physician Neely Kaplan Mirth started her Twitter day Wednesday by committing by commenting about how angry she was with the people who foment hate and spread disinformation as she fomented hate and spread a disinformation along with that pathetic misogynist who tone police and insult women and their education oh goodness now it's the patriarchy oh goodness the patriarchy, of course, is uh, a, wor a <laughs> word that um, people from from positions of privilege like to use as an excuse. Now they fight for uh, you know an egalitarian look in society when it comes to jobs and uh, laying out jobs, um, but I, I don't see a lot of them fighting for equal representation in jobs like garbage disposal, digging ditches. Uh, catching crabs in Alaska. No, we don't see a lot of representation uh, there equally anyway, or advocating for that. Nonetheless, let's move on. Uh, this was the morning after the night which the radical leftist doctor, <laughs> self-described feminist, and avid masker came on a TVO interview and fomented hate, spread a disinformation, and rabidly insulted Dr. Matt Strauss a, cr a critical care doctor who is acting medical officer of health of the uh, Hall Hallimand Norfolk Health Unit. And here's the clip here. We have the tools to use. We know what we can use. We have masks and they should be N95 masks. We should be using HEPA filters. We should be improving ventilation. We should be providing adequate paid sick days and encouraging people to stay home when they're sick rather than returning to workplaces. We have all of those tools. They are achievable. They are low cost. They are effective. It is inappropriate to say that masks are some form of harm hardship. They are not. They are not cruelty, Matt. They are not in any way restricting people's ability to make friends, to play, to work, to do any of the things. In fact, there are places in the world where even, uh, for example, in Italy, opera singers are on stage wearing masks. There is nothing that you are saying that, that is based in science or medicine. What you are saying is based in right-wing, anti-mask, anti-vax ideology. We yeah. have yes, opera singers can also be uh, subject to this craziness. <laughs> Absolutely. Talk about being disconnected from one's own self. Kaplan Mirth is running for Ottawa school trustee in Zone 9, which is in central Ottawa. Okay, so this explains a lot. The ward is currently held by a rabid masker and the first trans trustee in Canada, Lyra Evans, who has opted to run in another Ottawa ward. Okay, so you got to go up against somebody else who has other intersectional uh, virtue signaling abilities. You got to double down on the craziness, I guess, and go full bore <laughs> to lefty talking points. About her run for trustee, Kaplan Mirth said in a recent media interview that she wants to advocate on behalf of her vulnerable patients who have children in school in addition to lobbying against all of the blatant anti-vaxxer, anti-masker people she calls abhorrent. And <laughs> talk about... <laughs> oh, goodness. Talk about being tolerant. It seems Evans and Kaplan Mirth have, have much in common in addition to their radical and regularly unsufferable attacks on those whom they disagree. It may suit Ottawa snowflakes who are traumatized by the Freedom Convoy. We all remember the the PTSD that people were claiming uh, from the phantom honking. They were hearing it weeks later, honking, honking and honking in their, in their minds, of course. But Kaplan Mirth's Online ratings as a doctor show a distinct pattern as of late. Words like rude, unprofessional, self-righteous, fixated on vaccines, and her Twitter rants have been used to describe her lack of bedside manner. <laughs> okay, I wasn't going there. Throughout COVID, she has regularly blocked a long list of those on Twitter who disagree with her, myself included. Uh, constant fear-mongering. 
the longtime doctor and would-be trustee, appeared on TVO via Zoom wearing an N95 mask throughout the interview, even though she was alone in her office. <laughs> her eyes appeared crazed as she called out Strauss and anyone who dared to disagree with her. Because that's how science works, right? By decree. When host Stephen Peckling asked her if things were back or if things were back to normal in Ontario, she accused him of using far right language of anti maskers and anti vaxxers who have disregarded the impact of COVID on seniors, health workers, and so on. I think the the hardest the biggest hardship on healthcare workers right now is the shortage of their colleagues because of the government kicking out so many people for refusing to do undergo a medical treatment. When Strauss suggested that more Ontarians uh, yearn to get back to normal, and there's nothing far right about that, Kaplan Mirth insisted that we should still be masking indoors and in large crowds outdoors, completely separated from reality. She even claimed that politicians have pandered to a very small group, the Freedom Convoy, in quote, uh, as she's referring to, who occupied Ottawa streets and spread misinformation on social media and other rag magazines. <laughs> maybe, maybe YouTube channels that you may have been paying attention to. But yeah, this is... Uh, she also commented on Premier Doug Ford as, uh, has not come out and told the people they should take all the vaccines for which they are eligible, including boosters for small children. So much for free will. But there, <laughs> there you have it. Some people in positions of authority have been completely crazed by this mass formation. What do you think about this whole situation? Uh, is it sensible for a, a person who should know better, a person who's, a, who's got a medical degree, to be sitting in a room all by themselves, crazed, breathing heavily into an N95 mask, uh, probably to cover the uh, the foaming at the mouth from the rabid rants uh, that they have here. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, we'll see you tonight in tonight's live stream. We stream live every Friday night at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. Check your local listings. We'll see you then. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. Hit the like, bu like button, and we'll see you in the next one. Keep on trucking.